Mansa Musa, the 14th century ruler of the Mali Empire, stands as one of the most fascinating and influential figures in African history. His reign is marked by unparalleled wealth, cultural flourishing, and a profound impact on the global trade routes. The legacy of Mansa Musa extends beyond his economic prowess. It encompasses his religious devotion, architectural achievements, and the lasting imprint he left on the socio-political landscape of West Africa. This comprehensive exploration of Mansa Musa's biography will delve into his early life, rise to power, legendary pilgrimage to Mecca, and the enduring legacy that continues to captivate historians and scholars alike. Mansa Musa was born in 1280 in Niani, the capital of the Mali Empire, which spanned a vast territory in West Africa. His given name was Musa Keita, and he belonged to the Keita dynasty, a line of rulers that traced their lineage back to the founder of the Mali Empire, Sundiata Keita. Little is known about Musa's early years, but it is believed that he grew up in a society that valued trade, scholarship, and the Islamic faith. Musa Keita ascended to the throne in 1312, succeeding his predecessor, Abu Bakr II. His reign commenced during a period when the Mali Empire was already a major economic power, controlling lucrative gold and salt trade routes. Under Mansa Musa's rule, the Mali Empire reached its zenith in terms of economic prosperity. The empire was strategically positioned along the Trans-Saharan trade routes, allowing it to control the flow of gold and salt, two highly sought-after commodities. Mansa Musa is often described as one of the wealthiest individuals in history. His wealth was derived not only from the abundant natural resources within Mali, but also from the skilled administration of his empire. Musa implemented policies that promoted trade, agriculture, and a stable economic environment. This attracted merchants and traders, contributing to the overall affluence of the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa was a devout Muslim, and his reign saw a flourishing of Islamic scholarship and culture within the Mali Empire. He actively supported the construction of mosques, schools, and centers of learning. Musa's devotion to Islam was not merely a personal conviction, but a key aspect of his governance. He appointed learned scholars and judges to important positions in his administration, ensuring the implementation of Islamic law and principles. One of the most iconic chapters in Mansa Musa's biography is his pilgrimage to Mecca, undertaken between 1324 and 1325. This pilgrimage, known as the Hajj, was a religious obligation for every able-bodied Muslim who could afford to undertake the journey. Mansa Musa embarked on a grand caravan, accompanied by thousands of soldiers, officials, and servants. The opulence of the procession was staggering, with gold-laden camels, exquisite textiles, and valuable gifts intended for the rulers and officials he would encounter on his journey. The impact of Musa's pilgrimage on the global economy was profound. As he traveled through various regions, he distributed vast amounts of gold, inadvertently causing inflation in some areas. Mansa Musa's commitment to Islamic culture extended beyond scholarship to the realm of architecture. Upon his return from Mecca, he commissioned the construction of numerous mosques and madrasas throughout the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa's legacy is imprinted on the pages of history as a testament to the grandeur of the Mali Empire and its ruler's astute leadership. His reign symbolizes a golden age for West Africa, marked by economic prosperity, cultural flourishing, and diplomatic engagement on the global stage. The enduring legacy of Mansa Musa is reflected in the continued fascination with his life and accomplishments. Historians, scholars, and enthusiasts alike study his reign to understand the dynamics of medieval West Africa, the trans-Saharan trade routes, and the intersections of religion, politics, and culture. Mansa Musa's biography is a captivating narrative of a ruler whose influence transcended the borders of his empire. From his early life in Niani to his legendary pilgrimage to Mecca, Musa's journey is intertwined with the rise and flourishing of the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa's reign is not only a historical account, but a source of inspiration and pride for those who trace their heritage to the Mali Empire. His wealth, governance, and cultural contributions serve as a testament to the sophistication and complexity of medieval African societies. As the world continues to explore and appreciate the diverse narratives of history, Mansa Musa's biography remains a beacon of light, illuminating the brilliance of an era that shaped the course of West African civilization.